Hey everyone, this is Gerald Cigarshi. Now today I'm visiting a Dominican cigar with a beautiful Brazilian Maduro wrapper that hails by the name of Christoph Maduro. Come join me as I find out what this cigar is all about. All right, I'm pretty excited about smoking this little guy here. Now this is a cigar I picked up at my local cigar shop. I think I paid around $7.79 for it. And it just jumped out at me from the humidor. This is a beautiful stick. Uh, the size wise, this is my favorite Vitola. This is a Robusto. It's five and a half inches by 54 ring gauge. And what grabbed my attention the most about this cigar is the wrapper. When you look at the wrapper, it consists of this dark chocolate espresso brown color. It's got a chalky look to it. And it's accented by this light creamy brown band. And when you look close at the band, there's a lot of textures to it. it, it there's these lines that just dance in and out of it and it just kind of catches your attention. It actually reminds me of like corduroy pants in some aspects. On the very tip of the head of the wrapper, there's this little pigtail. While the wrapper itself kind of covers the bottom half of the foot, I mean, this cigar, when you step back and look at it, even though it does have some imperfections here and there, is an absolutely beautiful stick. So let's cut this guy up and light it up and see how it smokes. All right, I scalped this cigar trying to cut it on camera. So if this thing starts unraveling towards the end, I'm gonna blame me and not the cigar. Now, construction wise, there's some imperfections in this stick. There's some large veins and there's also some cracks that are kind of spread throughout the wrapper. As you can see, there's a, there's a crack here. There's also a crack near the foot there. So, like I said, large veins, some cracks. But the, other than that, I don't see any other issues with this stick. I mean, as far as the pack on the cigar, it's pretty tightly compacted. I'm not picking up any lo loose spots at all. It's a very solidly packed cigar. And the draw? The draw kind of leans a little bit towards the tight end, uh, but it's kind of right on the border of being perfect for me. It's, it's slightly tight, but not enough where I think it's going to impact the smoke at all. And the pre-lit flavors that I just got from the draw, they're very light. It's almost like a light, nutty tobacco taste. And the wrapper itself, not picking up a lot of aromas. There's some sweetness there, probably more of an earth in the backdrop, but for the most part, I'm not picking up a lot of aromas on this stick. It's just kind of a, like I said, a light, nutty taste in the draw with aroma that's just kind of a light, earthy uh, smell to it. Anyways, let's light it up and see how this cigar changes. Wow, very strong flavor. So right out of the gates, I pick up a very strong tobacco uh, flavor that has kind of a coffee, like a black coffee flavor that's just kind of inject, interjected into the mix. There's a little bit of a, a tingling sensation on my tongue. I'm not sure if that's black pepper yet or something else, but um, definitely uh, very powerful flavors just from the start. So I'm gonna puff on it, take a few more puffs on this guy and just see how it kind of transforms. Okay, a few puffs later and those tobacco notes have completely disappeared. I don't pick those up at all anymore. Um, what I'm picking up now is more of a woodsy taste to the cigar, but there's also a chocolate flavor. And I'm not talking about a sweet chocolate here. I'm talking more of just like a cooking chocolate or just a dark chocolate, an unsweet chocolate basically. In the retro hell, and I do pick this up a little bit in the spice as well, but it's really noticeable in the retro hell is this spice. And I'm not sure exactly what spice it is yet, but it just kind of punches through your sinuses and a quick, as quickly as it hits your sinuses, it leaves. But now that I'm just kind of sitting here and talking about it, I do feel that sensation just kind of sitting in my sinuses still a little bit. But there's like this initial punch, it kind of fleets away, and then as you kind of sit there, it just feels like there's some something that's just kind of lingering still there in the sinuses. But overall, we're off to a very good start. It's got a very full, rich flavor so far. Really enjoying it. And, you know, just as I'm sitting here talking, um, you know, the flavor's just kind of sitting on my uh, tongue. Kind of, it's like the, my tongue or my palate's just absorbing those flavors. Um, very rich, very rich flavors on the cigar. It's definitely a pretty enjoyable stick and I'm just starting. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this guy transitions. So I'll come back at the end of the first third and I'll give you an update. Okay, I'm at the end of the first third and the flavor notes that I picked up for the most part are wood, a nuttiness, and there's a strong black pepper, especially in the retro hell. That's where I really noticed the black pepper in this stick. Uh, the flavors are interesting. So that woodsy notes are probably the dominant taste that I pick up. 
And as you kind of step back from the cigar, it kind of transitions to a, a nutty flavor. It's pretty good. And at times it's stronger than others. Other times it's just kind of light, almost airy. And then other times it's pretty uh, prominent taste. Now, if you look at the construction on the cigar, the burn's a little bit crooked, but it's not bad. I mean, the ash is holding on pretty well. Um, it's a little bit flaky, but for the most part, the ash has been pretty solid. I'm going to have to uh, knock it off soon before I end up wearing it, but overall, I'll say it's, a, it's been a great start to the stick. I'm definitely enjoying it. Uh, no huge flavor transitions at all, but the flavors that are there, those woodsy notes, those nutty flavors, are very good and they just kind of they're smooth i wouldn't say they're creamy but they're kind of smooth they blend into each other and it's definitely been an enjoyable start so i'll work through the second third and see if the cigar changes at all all right i'm at the end of the second third and the flavor notes for the most part are pretty consistent with what i tasted in the first third of the stick it's been a for the most part a one-dimensional cigar however those flavors are good, and I am enjoying the cigars uh, quite a bit, actually. The uh, Retro Hell still is that strong black pepper taste to it. It has a spice in it. I haven't quite identified what that spice is other than the black pepper, but it really scrapes through your sinuses, so it has a punch to the sinuses. Uh, the the draw, when you puff on it, it's mainly woodsy flavors. There's, some un there's still that unsweet dark chocolate notes, but they're few and far between, so you really have to kind of set the cigar aside to taste it. Every now and then I can pick it up in the uh, puffs, but I say overall it's been a good cigar. I've enjoyed it. It is getting a little warm at this stage, so I'm going to have to nub it out for the rest of it. So I'll keep working on it, and I'll smoke this thing as far as I can, and then I'll come back and wrap up this review. All right, this cigar is getting pretty hot, and I'm not enjoying it anymore. Now, the flavors in the final third were mainly just the spice. It's the same spicy notes that I picked up earlier. I'm not exactly sure what they are. They're just not as enjoyable as the first two thirds, the flavors that were presented in the first two thirds of this stick. The uh, first two thirds are pretty one dimensional, but, but for the most part, it was a great tasting cigar. It's definitely one I highly recommend. So if you haven't tried this cigar, definitely pick one up. And if you have tried it, let, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this cigar. And I'll see you guys on the next review.